Is there any way that you know how to hide the status bar from ICS? I used to be able to hide it when I had Honeycomb with Honey Bar app, but it doesn't work with ICS. Many thanks, Stuart. P.S. Tell Steve McLaughlin Grand Theft Auto works great with a weird Xbox controller on my tablet. Uh, what? Not weird. With a wired Xbox controller on my tablet. So uh, wow. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. A wired Xbox controller. Dang. Well, there you go. Um, as far as this ICS bar hider, I have not a clue. I hope you guys do. Anything? Not me. In the no. settings, I think there was, I, I, I know that there's something inside of the settings. I also saw something where you actually have to edit, uh, you actually have to SSH into the actual, or you can, I think you can probably do it through ADB if you really wanted to, or an FTP app. Um, of course, you have to be rooted, obviously, to do it. Um, but you go in, you edit a couple files, and it's like a Boolean, you know, it's either zero or one, and right. then you just put, you know, zero or one in it, and then basically it'll hide it. So that's just, you know, you definitely can find it on XDA. I can't remember exactly the thread that it was in, but I know that I looked for it at one point, and it was it was in there somewhere. So definitely really? check out XDA. Definitely. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. You guys have any other advice for, uh, I think it was Stuart, right? Um, I would say as far as people over, I mean, it's not Ireland, but Scotland. And, uh, there's, uh, it's, it's G A L N E T Galnet MUI or my UI Scotland. So probably could find some people in the forums over there that are, you know, around you to chat with and, bounce ideas off of yeah <laughs> just head on over there and meet them personally yeah it's not too far <laughs> awesome well thank you for w watching the show and um hope we answered your questions to your satisfaction um next email is from walter walter says i have a question concerning android apps is there an Android app that shows when other apps go on sale. I'm a new Droid owner. Thank you for all your great information. Um, Dor, you gave a shot of an answer, but... Uh, I know. I looked, man. Nothing? I couldn't find a single app that would do it. Now, AppBrain will tell you... Uh, it, uh, when you go into AppBrain, one of the category or filters is price reduced. So you can load up AppBrain, the app on your phone, and go to apps and then hot today price reduced or hot this week price reduced. But I don't know of a single app that would say, you know, ding, here's a new app that's price came down. Because to be quite honest, it would probably never stop dinging because huh. there's so many apps. Right. Good point. You guys have anything on this? Any ideas? Mm -mm. Discount uh, well, finders? I, it, oh, go ahead, Caleb. No, it's all right, Sean. Go right away. I was just going to say, uh, I don't know anything that would specifically do that. I would just recommend, uh, you know, the uh, the app reminder for the daily app on, for Amazon. And then there's like GetJar where you can get uh, paid apps for free and uh, legally too, I believe, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, those are two options. Those are two options to, uh, to check out. Definitely. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, keep that, looking. Yeah, that's basically what I was going to say. So. Get jar? Yeah, <laughs> definitely get jar. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I'm going to keep looking to see if I find something. And I will say on Hot Today, price reduced, bottom of the first page, NFL flip quarterback, price drop 49 cents. Wow. There you so go. Get that good, right now. Right, so very good timing, Caleb. Nice. Yeah. That's how much I got it for, maybe. I, I can't remember. I know I saw it on Reddit. So, like I said, Reddit, too. Hey, there you go. There's another one. Watch Reddit. The Android apps, if you go to reddit.com slash r slash Android apps, 95% of the time, if there's a free app or there's you know a paid app that's going to be free for a day, they will have it in there. And yeah. a lot of the developers on there, you know, like I said, they give their apps away. Definitely check out Reddit you know, in the Android section, Android app section, Android developer section. They there's always a deal in there. So definitely check that out as well. Wow. Cool. Yeah. I have seen that now that you mentioned that. Developers will say, you know, you guys over here, you can have this app for free. Everybody in the market, you know, won't know it, you know, unless you're there. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Good stuff. Uh next one's from Jason. This is a long one. I'm gonna be 
out of breath at the end of this one. I'm going to read it fast. Here we go. Jason says, hello, everyone. Love the show, and I have gone app crazy since listening. Seems that I download at least one or more of the apps you suggest every show. I just wanted to share a few apps that make my life easier and help me out as a computer tech. Number one is FoxFi. Um, and he gives a link in the market. Just, just type FoxFi, F-O-X-F-I. This app allows you to have mobile Wi-Fi hotspot and connect to your lap and connect your laptop, tablet, or other Wi-Fi device without root. Any other Wi-Fi device without root. Yes, I said no root required. It's awesome, and I use it daily to tether my transformer and laptop. Also, I get speeds of 35 megabits per second download and 13 Mbps upload tethering through my Bionic 4G LTE phone here in Johnson City, Tennessee. 4G is fast, and best of all, it's free and G. <laughs> That's number one. Number two, PDA Net. This app allows USB tethering for free with one minor thing. No HTTPS sites on the free version, but hey, for free, who cares? I actually paid the $10 for the app and, use it all, and used it all the time till I found FoxFi. I have used PDA Net for years on my old Windows phone and BlackBerry, but the Android version is really good. Number three, Time Clock, Time Tracker. This is one of my top used apps. If you have any kind of need for time tracking, this is the app to do it. I use it daily for all my contract for all my contract customers to keep up with how much time to bill them. It basically works like a time clock. You clock in when you get there. It allows you to add notes. Then you clock out when you leave. The really cool part is that it syncs on online to timeclockconnect.com. So your time is always backed up with all your notes. I use the online site to copy the time and notes to my QuickBooks for filing for billing. The software does offer an invoicing feature to generate invoices for customers on the website, but it costs $5 a month, but I don't use that part since I use QuickBooks. Next one is Skyvi, S K Y V I. I bring this one up since on a show a few back someone brought up EV, EVI, and this is much better than EVI. It's fun to use. And works pretty decent. I've only played with it a few days, so I will have to uh, update you on it. It's still not as good as Siri, and it's not perfect, but you should give it a try and see what you think. Uh, so it's a it's one of those it's a Siri type app, Skeevy. Uh, and last but not least, Beyond Pod. This is my top used app. I have this thing update automatically every night and download all the new episodes of Podnuts and several other podcasts. This app is updated in the market all the time, and I think it gives Dogcatcher a run for its money. It has a nice clean layout and very nice interface and a ton of features. They released a tablet version with a tablet-oriented interface as well, and best of all, the unlock key for the phone version allows you to install the tablet version for free as well. One of the features they are working on is a sync for Beyond Pod to be able to sync your read and played episodes wirelessly through the internet for your phone and tablet so you don't have to manually delete and mark episodes read if you switch back and forth between devices for listening. Thanks. That's from Jason from unbounddigital.net. That's his computer repair shop. Thanks a lot, Jason. Really appreciate the uh, suggestions. You just gave us five more apps for the show. Definitely. And uh, it sounds like good stuff. I'm glad you're liking the show and uh, thanks for the input. What do you guys have to say about this? I just rolled through it, but I'm sure somebody had some some input on it hmm. no. um fox Fi, i never heard of glad i know about it now so when people want to know um one thing i say i don't suggest pda net for anyone because it doesn't do http https and some users might not understand the impl implications of that so i don't even suggest that app just Unless I really know who I'm suggesting it to, kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but I'm a little paranoid. You know, you don't want to go to google.com, gmail.com, put in your username, and password when you're really not on a secure connection. Totally. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I completely agree with that too. I mean, as far as tethering apps go, I mean, you know, we offer tethering at Intellos and some of our phones, you know, especially the older phones, um, they don't have the ability to tether as far as you know the milestone the original droid we didn't have an uh, update to actually have uh tethering enabled so you know offering apps like pda net you know i try to explain to people you know like door just said but of course you know people don't listen they like to you know go ahead and as long as they're as long as it's working for them they really don't care how they have to do it um but 
like you said, I mean, as far as the tethering, I'll definitely start, you know, throwing that out there to people that definitely have our older phones because, I mean, it is a paid feature on our network, but for the older phones, since they're grandfathered in, you know, then that's something that they'll definitely need, you know, for their, for their devices. So I definitely appreciate that in that email. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Cool. All righty. Ready for the next one, guys? Let's do it. All right. Oh, no. I just backed out of my Gmail. Oh, no. <laughs> it's asking me for my password, silly Gmail. All right, here Shouldn't we go. have been on HTTP. <laughs> 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 All right, so that was from Jason. Ooh, got a voicemail. Let's see what this is. Mix things up a little bit here. And I'll play the voicemail right now. Hey, this message is for Android App Addicts. I uh, just wanted to shoot something real quick. I'm about halfway through the beginning episodes, so I'm like episode 40. And variable speed playback is a topic that came up for a couple of episodes. And there is a plug-in for Dogcatcher and BeyondPod that allows for variable speed back, uh, speed back, uh, playback. Uh, while you're listening to your podcast, and you can use it in Beyond Pod and Dogcatcher. Um, and it's called Presso, P R E S S O. I think it's two bucks. Not sure, but I think it's two bucks. It's okay. Um, I can't really listen to podcasts at variable speed at higher speed. I don't have the brain power to do that. Um, I think it's an acquired taste, and I haven't acquired it yet. So, but if you're looking for it, uh, uh, there you go. Uh, so anyway, uh, and one other thing, if you're looking for extended batteries, pick up a Sido battery. They're expensive, S-E-I-D-O, I believe. Uh, they make them for just about any smartphone, about six bucks. And they're big. Uh, but I'll tell you what, you'll nearly double your battery life, not more than that. Uh, mine it gives uh, 50% more battery life. I can actually go three days without charging my phone. Keeping all of the radios on, you know, Wi-Fi, GPS, all that stuff off. And I can go two or three days without charging. So, quick, uh, appreciate the check. Cool. Sorry I was a little broken up. I had the gate on some for some of that. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Um, Presto for... Presto. St- is it Presto? Yeah, P-R-E-S-T-O. Okay. So that's for speeding up uh, and slowing down oh, podcasts. I live by it. Live by I it. Just, if I didn't have it. R- really? Yeah. I had just got it the other day. I, I knew there was something I couldn't remember, and I uh, hit up Cody Cooper because I know he had mentioned it at one time. Uh, so I got it because I was trying to go back and listen to old shows so we could get the the uh, the Google Doc all set up for the uh, for Caleb's app. <laughs> and funny thing is, so I'm listening through the whole thing, and then I realized after I listened to two shows that Dora gave, <laughs> gave the app rundown at the end of every show. I could have just went to the end. <laughs> I, I was at work, you know, so I was kind of like, yeah, I, I, was funny. I do that. That's what is funny. Cool. That was a good email. Good advice. Um, what mm-hmm. was the thing? The thing about the batteries? I didn't know. I didn't even know that. I couldn't understand the company he was trying to say. I'll try to get that into the show notes for you guys somehow. And and watch those batteries because they some of those can void warranties on some carriers. Um, I know we don't. You know, as far as that goes, as long as there's no physical damage that can be shown as far as the battery goes, but I know that some companies I've heard, this is what I've heard, will avoid warranty for any kind of aftermarket part that you put on your device to be careful using, you know, extended batteries and stuff like that as Uh, well. Good advice. Yeah. It's like reading your phone, so. Yeah. Um, Ready for the next one, guys? We'll do one more voicemail here. Cool. All right, here we go. Hi, this is Jeff Spencer in Grants Pass. This is a message for uh, Android App Addicts and specifically for Door to Door Geek. Uh, he was talking about a recent challenge with a new carpool partner, wife, and a lunch run and lack of time to listen to podcasts. Uh, when he was describing that, Door described his own solution. Uh, and it's pretty simple. A uh, little logical uh, construction here. If you bring your lunch, you don't have to wait in the car. Once she gets off work, 
Well, then, if you don't bring her lunch, you do wait in the car. That gives you your podcast time. The, the logic is that.